every event that I would host, you know, a fundraiser for Rest Attorney Home or any event that I attend even, they're there with the wall. And I know how hard that is. And Karen with the wreaths and it's, it's just amazing. It's actually humbling to be in this room with so many patriots that love our country. You know, we've got First State Bank that sponsors every event I think I've ever done. Um, they, they're helping the city of Warren financing um, these renovations on these homes that the city of Warren gave to us uh, seven, it was supposed to be eight, but seven of our veterans, they gave them a house for one dollar. These were houses that were in distress and needed to be renovated before they were livable again. And First State Bank stepped up in a big way. Like, I can't even tell you how they made this program work because these are veterans that, you know, maybe, would, they would never have been able to qualify for a traditional mortgage through the whole mortgage application process. Um, so for that, it's just, that is literally life changing what they've done in the community for our veterans. And, uh, and they know how much I love them. I fired my last bank, moved all of my accounts over to, to First State Bank because we should support those that pay attention to the community and do such good work. So for that, thank you guys. Um, how much time do I get to talk? <laughs> a couple more minutes, good. <laughs> so, just a little. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Sometimes I don't want people to glaze over, but um, for those of you that don't know, we recently opened um, our thrift store that helps us support um, our mission. It's located on Gratiot, just north of 12 Mile. Um, yeah, we're really, really proud of how far the store has come in just this one year, but we can use more shoppers. Um, we can use some, you know, Google reviews and some likes on Facebook and shares and those kinds of things. And, uh, you know, if you're so inclined to clean out your closet or your garage or basement, you know, we're looking for those gently used items that um, first, and just, you know, any donated items that come in, first our veterans get to go through whatever is donated, they take what they want or need, and then we push everything else down, the overflow stuff down to the store. So my goal is, is that I don't have to keep begging money every month and just let the store, um, you know, su support the, the, the mission and the program. So um, I want to say thank you to my veterans that have attended. my house manager, he's a veteran, came and joined us about a year ago, and then um, he was in crisis, stepped right up, volunteers, he lives on site, it's a really tough job, he works very hard, and for that we thank you. And uh, yeah. he's in there as, uh, one of our veterans, he joined us, I don't know, three months ago, and has become like a rock star. Um, he works at the store, he volunteers every minute of the day, he never stops. Chandler is one of the veterans receiving one of the houses in Warren. And uh, Wendy is a, a veteran Marine. She's uh, also a star mom. And we have our dedicated volunteers, so we appreciate that. And then a couple of my staff, Paul, who's our, our uh, facility director. I, you know, I don't know how to maintain a commercial building. So Paul does all of that, helps me at the store everything that needs to be done, and then his wife Kim holds down my office. So I could not do what I do without them, and um, you know, it's just humbling to be in a position to be able to, to give back to the veteran community that has done so much to make our lives what it is, and um, we need to shake up our government because they're dropping the ball everywhere. It's not getting better, it's getting worse, and we need this fixed. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sandy, and everybody.